Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Kansas City Royals and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Royals today is Mike Paxton, whose record is 9-13 with a 7-11 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is George Capazello, whose record is 7-3 with a 1.38 ERA. Okay, we did manage to pull out a victory yesterday thanks to uh, some late-inning offense, which included a two-run home run by Gibson, his 23rd home run on the season, and that gave us the lead. That was in the seventh inning, and we managed to hold on uh, to get the victory. We were down 4 to nothing in that ball game, and uh, Rosie, like a lot of our starting pitchers, was yanked early on, and uh, we managed to fight back. And so today's game, uh, we're down one uh, game to the Yankees, taking a look at the standings here. We're down one game uh, with four games to go. And maybe this is not the best time to be experimenting, but with our starting pitcher struggles, we're going to go with a left-hander, George Capazello, today, uh, making his first career start. We're, it's going to be kind of like a bullpen day, where our typical starter... Um, Tom Filer, uh, he will probably make his way into the ball game in the second or perhaps the third inning, but we have to figure out a way to break up the lefties in this Kansas City Royal lineup. Um, and if we could get, uh, you know, an advantage somehow from our starting pitcher and give us a chance to get the lead, then I think we have a better chance of winning this ball game. As you can see. Uh, the bullpen is completely available today with the exception of Morris Madden, who pitched okay yesterday uh, in relief. And Capazello has uh, 29 career plate appearances against the current Royals lineup. Um, and he's done pretty well against them, as he has pretty much against everybody he's ever faced. Here is the lineup for the Tigers today against uh, Mike Paxton. Same as yesterday, we have Eddie Miller in there in right field. He didn't do anything yesterday uh, but get a stolen base. Um, but I like him in right field defensively over Kevin Bass, who's going to be our DH today. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the lineup rundown for the Kansas City Royals today. Batting leadoff in center field is Willie Wilson. Batting second in left field is Otto Valise. Batting third at third base is George Brett. Batting cleanup and DHing today is Kelly Heath. Batting fifth at first base is Willie Akins. Batting sixth and catching is Don Slot. Batting seventh at shortstop is Rance Molinix. Batting eighth in right field is Terry Harper. And batting ninth, playing second base today is Tim Ireland. Okay, let's take a look at George Capazello real quick here. Uh, you know he's been uh, our best reliever. He was an all-star, the only reliever elected to the all-star game this season, making his 68th appearance, his first career start, 7-3 with that 138 ERA. Uh, he's got a pretty good strikeout to any pitch ratio for this um, era of baseball. Opponents are batting 209 against him. If you take a look at his splits... He gets lefties out really well, but he does well against righties. So um, I think having some of these switch hitters turn around and bat right-handed uh, will give Capazello an advantage. He's got a 93-mile-an-hour fastball. That's his best pitch, rated a 94. He's got a curveball he mixes in, which is uh, below average. And uh, basically an 84 overall rating. Still got a little bit of room to grow. He doesn't go to arbitration until next year. So we have him on the uh, Major League Minimum. Let's take a look at the Tigers' defensive alignment. Same as yesterday, same as it usually is. We have all of our best players in there as we uh, try to capitalize on uh, playing some lower-tier uh, teams and maybe getting back ahead of the uh, Yankees. Uh, if you take a look here, um, looks like the... They've went ahead and done like a, a lefty of every other at bat. So that might make it challenging when we do bring in a right-hander. 
Um, but uh, I guess we'll see how it goes here. We're going to give it a go. Here's George Capizello making his first career start. Willie Wilson 0 for 2 against him. Ground ball to short. Trammell throws him out. One down. Next up is Otto the Suato, Otto Valise. Had his 19th home run earlier this series. Ground ball to Hatcher at third. Hatcher throws him out. Two down. And George Brett comes to the plate. And Brett swinging on a 3-1 pitch that was outside. Flying out to center field. And a 1-2-3 inning for Capizello. That couldn't have went any better. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Here's the Tigers lineup rundown against Mike Paxton. Batting leadoff in right field is Eddie Miller. Batting second at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting third at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting cleanup in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting fifth at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting sixth at first base is Eddie Murray. Batting seventh and catching today is Lance Parrish. Batting eighth and DHing is Kevin Bass. And batting ninth in center field is Andre Dawson. Mike Paxton on the mound for the Royals today, having a horrible year, making his 33rd start, 9 and 13. With a 7-11 ERA. He's given up 167 runs this year. Walked more than he struck out. Opponents are betting 329 against him. 13 wild pitches. He does have three complete games. Fastball. Tops out around 90 miles an hour. It's the only pitch he's got that's any good. Just above average at 83. He's got a curveball change up he mixes in there. I mean, his overall rating is an 82. So um, that's how he's still hanging into this lineup. I mean, you got to give him credit for making all the starts uh, this season. He wasn't even in baseball in 1982. That's his 1981 Fleer baseball card. And so, uh, yeah, he had moved on. And uh, he's still going out there every five days for the uh, Royals. There's the Royals defensive alignment. So left field and right field defensively with uh, Valise and Terry Harper are uh, below average defensively. And Willie Akins, who is sometimes the DH, goes to play first today. He's poor defensively. And uh, that somehow allows this rookie to play DH and bat cleanup for them. Okay, so here we go. Big game. Here's uh, Eddie Miller leading off against Mike Paxton. Round ball to first. Test uh, Akins at first right away. And... He makes the play cleanly. There's one down for Sweet Lou. Lou going oppo in the left center field. Flies out, two down. Trammell up next. He's our best hitter. He's got five home runs in the last seven games. He goes opposite field to right field for a base hit. There's the Tigers' first hit. Do we go for two? I mean, it's early, but we... We do have Gibby coming up. We're going to say no. Um, that's not a very good arm, but also not very good speed. Just average speed for Trammell. So Trammell on first, two down. Let's see if we get a two-out rally. Kirk Gibson, one for ten in his career versus Paxton. And he hits a slow roller to short, and Mullenix makes the play. We go to the top of the second, no score. Here is Kelly Heath. Don't know much about Kelly Heath. Uh, this is a uh, rookie season for him. And maybe he is a late season call-up. Does have two home runs this year. Here's Capizella. We're sending back out there for one more inning. Uh, his endurance is 36. Capiz is uh, 36. So, I mean, he could probably go 40 pitches, 50 pitches. Striking out, Willie Akins. Two down, first K for Capizello. And here's the right-hander, Don Slot Hits lefties really well. And he walks him. Slot takes his base. As Rance Mullenix 
steps in. He's a left-hander, batting only 276 versus lefties. Ground ball to short, and Trammell makes the play. So Capizello, two hitless innings. We go to the bottom of the second inning. We've got Hatcher, Murray, and Parrish due up. Hatcher on the verge of finally falling below 300 for the first time in quite a while. A base at the left field, won't be this at bat. Leadoff man is on. This is a hit and run situation for Eddie Murray. Murray does have a home run in his career against Paxton. Is that a line drive? He's going to be doubled up. He gets doubled off first. Oh, boy. All right. Two down. Here's Lance Parrish. Ground ball to second. Ireland makes the play. We go to the top of the third. Missed opportunity for the Tigers there. Now we've got... All right, we've got ha Harper... Ireland and Wilson and uh, other than well yeah okay so Harper's batting 356 but he doesn't hit lefties well so I think we're going to go one more inning with Capizello but well, we're going to tread lightly here is Terry Harper leads off the top of the third popping it up on the infield to the outfield grass and Whitaker back pedals to make the play one down um Tim Ireland, I don't know about this photo. It just looks weird. It kind of looks like he's wheelchair bound or something. I don't know. I, but every time I make fun of a player, they get a base hit against me, so I, I should stop that. Okay, so here's Tim Ireland batting right hand. He's a switch hitter. Ground ball to first. Murray steps on the bag. We're back to the top of the lineup with Willie Wilson. Hits uh, lefties and righties about the same. And there's an infield single. So there's the first hit against Capizello. I feel like this is when we should go to a righty. So we're going to bring in Tom Filer, who for this uh, appearance, I moved him into short relief. Now, Filer's been really bad. I mean, we have not been able to really do much with him. He hasn't had a a win in his last three starts. Um, and yeah, we he went one and two third in his last start against Seattle. And uh, we had to yank him out of there. Uh, you take a look at his overall numbers, though. They're not that bad. He's made 21 starts this year, so this is his 22nd appearance. Nine and four, 377 ERA, 52 strikeouts, not a strikeout pitcher, but he's a decent control pitcher. Opponents are batting 276 against him. Fastball tops out at 89, but his slider is his best pitch. All right. So, Filer into the ball game. Great job by Cappy. Runner on first. Will Wilson be going with a right-hander on the mound now? Nope. Valise pops it up to left, and Gibby makes the play. Okay. We go to the bottom of the third. No score. Kevin Bass leading off. Bass batting 247 versus right handers. Ground ball to short. One down. Andre Dawson up next. I mean, this is Mike Paxton. This guy has a 7 11 ERA. And we cannot do anything against him. It's unbelievable how. We perform against pitchers who have been just lit up by every other team. A 1-2-3 inning for Mike Paxton. We go to the top of the fourth. Now we've got Brett and Aikens up this inning. And I feel like we need to go back to a lefty. Man, it feels too early to be playing this kind of a game. But this is kind of what we've um, we've got set up. Um, I guess we're going to go to Keith Comstock. And then we'll just use the righties in tight situations. 
Keith Comstock, 64th game, 1 and 2 with that 338 ERA. 49 strikeouts and 58 innings pitch. Pretty damn good. Uh, opponents are playing 246 against him. Take a look at the splits. They're about equal. I mean, he could face righties and do a good job. I worry about the walk. I worry about the long ball with Keith Comstock. Here we go. George Brett leading off the inning. A comebacker to Comstock. And he underhands it to first. One out. Here's Kelly Heath. Second time through the lineup. Ground ball to short. Trammell makes the play. Two quick outs for Comstock. It's going to bring up Willie Akins. And Akins is going to pop it up into foul ground on the third base side. Yeah. I mean, that was about as obvious as I've ever seen. That ball was, uh, what, 20 feet in foul territory, and it, yet it was still an error that allows the runner to get on base. I'm not worried about Aiken scoring, but I am worried about, uh, you know, on an a extra base hit. But I am worried about Don Slot hitting a home run here. But what can we do? Ground ball to second, and there we go. So Hatcher's error, which visually does not make any sense. Um, uh, nothing comes of it. So we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. We got Whitaker, Trammell, and Gibson do up two, three, and four. We got to get something going here. Ground ball to second. I mean, we have not even walked against this guy who has 95 walks this year. Okay, now we have. So we have Trammell on first. We know uh, Don Slot's an 83 arm. I mean, Gibson is not done well against Paxton. I feel like we got to let him swing away, though. Oh, another walk. Okay, so we have a runner in scoring position for Mickey Hatcher, who, with a sack fly yesterday, got his 100th RBI. So, uh, a real milestone. I, I mean, I don't know how any, any a Tiger hitter could manage to get to 100 RBI. But Hatcher found a way. Here he pops it up to second. And now it's going to be up to Eddie Murray, who hit into a line drive double play in his first at bat. Hits a slow roller to second, and Ireland makes the play. Oh, God, this is, uh, this is about as frustrating as it can get. I mean, I don't understand how we only have two hits, but we just got to focus on the pitchers here and hope that we can get through this inning. Uh, this game, I should say, with a victory. Maybe get a, scratch out a run later on. We're going to leave Comstock in there to face Rance Mullenix. Line drive right at Murray. Gold Glover snags it. One out. Terry Harper, we already said he doesn't hit le uh, lefties well for a right-hander. And he gets a hold of that one to left field. Gibby makes the play in front of the left field wall. 341 feet. Two outs. Here's Tim Ireland. Ground ball to short trim up. Makes the play. All right, we're through five. I mean, my, my plan is working uh, as far as the pitchers go. But this lineup has done nothing with a terrible defense and a, the worst pitcher in the American League, statistically. Parrish pops it up, leading off the bottom of the fifth. There's one out. Kevin Bass up next. There's the third walk. I mean, we have to take a chance here. It's the bottom of the lineup. We know, we know Dawson doesn't do anything. Let's see if we can't get Bass a stolen base to get him to second base. Get into scoring position. Try something. Okay, so a changeup does allow Bass to steal second. His seventh stolen base of the year. So we're going to stay on the double play because of that, which is nice. Let's see if Dawson can drive him in. Hey! There we go! 
A two-run shot from our number nine hitter. 15th home run of the season for Hawk. And the Tigers have a 2-0 lead. And I feel like now oh, they can breathe a little bit and we can really play matchups the rest of the way. One down. Here is Eddie Miller. We're going to bunt for a hit. We're going to try to catch him off guard here. Miller can't get a hit anyway to save his life. Right down in front of the plate. And an error by the catcher, Don Slot allows uh, Miller to be safe at first. Now it's hit and run time. Got the momentum going here. Ground ball to third. Whitaker out at first. Miller advances. Trammell will have an opportunity here to get the uh, third run in. Two down. Miller at second. Trammell only batting 248. Look at that on base percentage versus right handers. And a weak ground ball to second. Okay, so we did get, <laughs> get to uh, Mike Paxton finally. We go to the top of the sixth inning. We're taking out uh, Comstock. Great job by him. Um, Surprisingly good job. We're going to bring in uh, Bruce Robbins. Now, Bruce has been pitching really good lately. Take a look at his log. Um, yeah, he had that two-inning performance against Seattle, which was fantastic. Um, I mean, his ERA is 348 in his last 20 games, considering he's got a 499 ERA right now. Take a look at his splits, because this is what matters. Uh, righty's hit him pretty good. But he's kept some control over the lefties. And he has been pitching better. So maybe um, maybe we can get one inning out of Bruce Robbins. Willie Wilson up first. Wilson is 0 for 5 against Robbins in his career. There's a line drive to center field. And one out. Okay, out of Valise. This one's going to be a tough out for Robbins. First time facing him, he walks him. It's going to bring up George Brett. I, I don't really mind that. I mean, Brett is a Hall of Famer, but possibly a double play um, candidate. Ground ball to second. Whitaker pivots to second base. And a double play. Okay, good job. Great job by Robbins and all of our pitchers today. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Let's take a look at the end game stats. Player of the game so far is Dawson. Or we could say an, an amalgam of all of our pitchers. Okay, so uh, Paxton's still in there. 71 pitches as Gibby steps up. Gibson 0 for 1 with a walk today. Fly ball into center field, shallow. Running play by Willie Wilson. There's one out. Mickey Hatcher up next. Hatcher one for two on the day. Slow roller to third. And an error by the third baseman. Okay, they're starting to uh, give us some opportunities here. Let's see if we can uh, capitalize. Eddie Murray, we're letting him swing away. Ground ball to second. That'll be two. All right. Well, we move on to the seventh inning. Now we've got uh, two righties due up. So we're going to bring in Dave Smith here. Dave Smith. Take a look at him. Oh, we have the splits up. Uh, righties. Got two out of three coming up. So we, they're batting 238 against him. And he does well against lefties for the most part. So that's what we're looking at. Oops. And uh, his 38th appearance for us. Don't forget, he was on Houston earlier this year. Uh, but he's been pitching really, really well for us. 235 ERA. 30 Ks and 38 innings pitched. He's got three saves. And we just need him to give us a solid seventh inning so that we can get to Rucker. Okay. Here's Kelly Heath. Heath 0 for 2 today. 
Ground ball to first. One out. Okay, Willie Akins, this is a tough out. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout today, batting 308 versus right handers. And swinging at an outside pitch, popping it up to the pitcher. And Parrish steps out from behind the plate to make the catch. Two down for Don Slot. Slot 0 for 1 with a walk today. Ooh, he went down to get that one and pulls it into left field for the second hit for the Royals today. Um, so we know these three guys do not hit lefties well. So we're going to Rucker. This is what this game's about today. We are doing what we have to do to get the win. 66th appearance, 8 and 7 with a 297 ERA, 36 strikeouts. I'm sorry, 32 strikeouts, a 226 opponent's batting average. He was our left handed closer for a little while. 14 saves, two blueies, 91 mile an hour fastball, rated an 87. Let's go after Molinix with a fastball right here. Let's not mess around. Slot on first, no speed. Not concerned about him scoring from first on an extra base hit. And he walks him. Okay, well, that's this is bad. Uh, Terry Harper's up, and he does not hit lefties well. Um, we're not going to pull the outfield in. If he gets a hit, he gets a hit. He does get a hit. Ah, darn it. The walk. I mean, that is it. And now we're on the verge of being tied up. Now we have to pull the outfield in. Here's Tim Ireland. Ground ball to first. And the play is made. So they do get on the board. Some sloppy relief work there from Rucker. Uh, that run was uh, given to Dave Smith, though. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning, and it's 2-1. to one. Lance Parrish leading off. Ground ball to third. Only six hits total between the two teams. Kevin Bass with one down. Base hit into center field. There we go. One for two with the stolen base for Bass. Do we want to go for two? God, I feel like if we don't get it, it's that momentum switch is deadly. Yes! Bass, safe at second with a double. His seventh double on the season. Whew. That was a risk, but I mean, we're desperate. Um, okay, so runner on, on second uh, with Andre Dawson up. Dawson's already the hero today so far. Ground ball, base hit, pass Brett at third, Bass around third base. And scores, it is three to one. Detroit, we get that run back. Um, all right, let's, um, I mean, I don't know why we're letting Miller swing away, but we're gonna let him swing away. He's 0 for three. I don't think he's gonna hit into a double play. He's too fast. Yeah, he does beat it out. We're gonna try to have him steal second base. 77% chance, but he is overall play is horrible right now. Okay, so he is successful in stealing second. That is his 30th stolen base on the year. Not bad for a part-time player. And he is now in scoring position for Lou, who's got a 0-1 count. Ground ball, base hit into left field. Miller scores from second, and it's 4-1 Detroit. Oh, I'm feeling so much better about this right now. Paxton at 99 pitches. Trammell with two down and Whitaker on first will fly out to left. And we're going to the eighth inning. We're going to keep Rucker in there. He did not have a very good inning before. Uh, but we need Rucker to try to get us to Weaver. And uh, Wilson, who hits lefties well, but he also hits righties really well. So uh, we're going to 
We're going to do our best here to get Rucker through one more inning. Fly ball into center field. Play is made by Dawson. One down. Okay, they've got a tough out here with Valise. Right-hander. Ground ball to Murray. Murray had a lot of ground balls today. Handles that one cleanly. Two down for George Brett. Full count. Oh, that looked like ball four. Instead, it's just a pop-up to Whitaker. And we're through the inning. Great job by our pitchers today. We're going to the bottom of the eighth. We've got Gibby Hatcher and Murray do up. Mark Huseman is the new reliever for the Royals. His 61st game, 9-2. and two. This is their go-to guy. Uh, 261, ERA, 51 strikeouts, points bang, 244, 5 saves, 3 blueies. Um, 91 mile an hour fastball. Wow, look at that changeup. Ready to 57. Hope he throws all changeups to Gibby. All right. Bottom of the eighth. Here is Gibson. It's Gibby, Hatcher, and Murray. Gibson. Ground ball to third. There's one out. Hatcher up next. We're going to bring in Solars defensively in the ninth. Give Hatcher one more shot. Hey, a base hit up the middle. Well, so we'll go ahead and pull Hatcher from first. We're going to bring in a pinch runner. Um, we're going to bring in Mark Wagner. He's not maybe the fastest, of every, but maybe Jody Reed is faster. But um, at least I can count on Mark Wagner. Jody Reed has been very disappointing. So Wags comes in there, takes over for uh, Hatcher at first base. We're going to let Murray take another swing. Hit into a double play last time up. Uh, he lifts it into left center field. Will that fall in? No, it will be caught by the left fielder. Two down. Here is uh, Lance Parrish. And Parrish, a ground ball to second. All right, so it didn't matter bringing Wags in there. We will make a defensive switch at third, bringing in Guy Solars. There we go. And we've got two, <coughs> two righties due up. So we're going to take out Rucker. We're going to bring in our closer, Roger Weaver, right-hander. This will be his 69th, 69th game. Nice. 6-6, six and six, 136 ERA. Opponents batting 181 against him. He's got more strikeouts than walks for the first time in his career. And he's a guy that we do intentionally, in, intentionally walk someone. So some of those numbers are intentional walks. He's got 22 saves. Two blueies. He's been dynamite for us. Um, I'm not sure if you've watched the series, you know how, how good he's been. And so we have uh, total confidence in him to close this ball game out. He's going to start with Kelly Heath today. Heath 0 for 3. Ground ball to Murray at first. No errors. Okay. There we go. One out. Here's a tough at bat. It's Willie Aikens batting 307 against right handers. Oh, he walks him. Shit biscuits. Okay, so that's going to bring up Don Slot. We are going to guard the. Well, no, we got a three run lead. We can't hit a three run home run. And um, so we're going to play straight away. Hope for a double play. Got some slow speed. We got a catcher. Let's just end. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They are not going to let this go. Oh, this is not fair. Runners on first and second, and Rance Mullenix up. He is the tying run. Um, and he hits righty so well. And we've really got no one else to fall back on. we got the creeper. But I do not want the creeper in the ball game here in the ninth inning. I mean, we win or lose with Weaver. Um, again, not a lot of speed. Here we go. 
popping him up. He jammed him inside. Trammell goes back on the outfield grass to make the play. And we are one out away. Terry Harper, he's got power, and he does hit righties well. Uh, one swing of the bat could tie the ball game. Uh, this is nerve-wracking. Uh, we're going to go for it, though. Here we go. Straight away, everyone. Ground ball to Murray. Come on. Yes! We win a bullpen game. Four to one. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. That was a big win. Uh, only one run given up by our bullpen. What a fantastic game. Whew. All right. Let's take a look here. And now we are tied with the Yankees going into the final series of the year versus Texas. Both teams at 91 wins. Unbelievable. Take a look at the National League. Boston is eliminated. Uh, I think we already knew that, right? And, yeah, the only thing really left to be decided are the two uh, East divisions with St. Louis and Philadelphia hanging on for dear life against uh, the Metropolitans. Okay, let's take a look at the headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Miguel Delaney strokes four hits. Good job by Delaney stroking it. Um, four, five, triple two runs, two RBIs. Nicely done. Carl Pagel with two for five. Tom Brookins contributed two hits and four bats, a double, a run, and a ribby. Von Hayes, the team's best hitter. Um, he went two for three. Okay, next one. Woo, Joe DeSaz, four RBIs, leads the A's to a victory. Oakland over Milwaukee. Uh, he did have a home run. Kevin Mitchell, a home run. So he has got to be tied at 32 now with um, Ricardo Sines. And number six hitter, Larry Herndon, had three hits. And a stolen base. Okay, that's some good information. And finally, at the end of the season, we're getting our uh, way of... Uh, getting the good information into the paper. Uh, by beating Kansas City 4-1 to on Sunday, Tigers moved into a tie for the lead of the American League. George Capazello was in control. Uh, in two and two-thirds innings, he gave up no runs, one hit, and a walk. George Brett struggled. He's hitless in four bats. Kevin Bass went one for two with a walk. Okay, so that is it. We're going to take a look at transactions. Ray Knight, oh, of Cincinnati, hit for the cycle. That's the first cycle for the season. And he was in the He wasn't even an everyday player. Look at that. In his third game of the year at age 29, Ray Knight hit for the cycle. That is pretty damn incredible. And Bob Fallon of the White Sox is going to miss three days. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and or subscribe to the channel. There will be a 1983 season. There's going to be all new crazy stuff going on next year. Uh, let's take a look. A player of the game has got to be um, Andre Dawson. The two-run home run gave us the lead uh, in the fifth, and we kept it. He did have three total RBIs. We had a couple stolen bases. Keith Comstock. Kami gets the win. He goes to 2-2 two and two on the year. Uh, we had five walks and one strikeout. That's, that's it. Um, Roger Weaver gets his 23rd save of the season after walking two batters. That was, that was scary. Mike Paxton takes the loss. He goes to 9-14 and 14 on the year. We're going to come back tomorrow and start the final series of the season. Until then, everyone, have a great night.